In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to integrate Microsoft Outlook with Zapier. Whether you're automating your workflow or simplifying your tasks, this integration can be a real game changer. Let's dive right in. To begin, let's head over to your Zapier homepage. If you haven't already, you'll want to log in, which will take you to the main dashboard where you can get started. Once you're there, look for the Create button. This is your starting point for all new Zaps. Go ahead and click on it. After clicking Create, next up on our list is selecting Zaps. A Zap is an automated workflow that connects your apps and services. It allows different systems to communicate and perform tasks without manual intervention. Click on Zaps to proceed with setting up your new workflow. Now, you need to set a trigger for your Zap. Triggers are events that start a Zap. Click on Trigger and then you'll want to find and select Microsoft Outlook. This is because you're going to set up Outlook as the initiating app for the automation. Once you've clicked on Microsoft Outlook, you're prompted to choose the type of event that will act as the trigger. Here, we'll choose the new calendar event option. This means that whenever a new event is added to your Outlook calendar, it will ignite the workflow. After choosing your trigger event, you'll need to sign into your Microsoft Outlook account to grant Zapier the necessary permissions. Go ahead and click sign in and provide the required access. To ensure everything's working correctly so far, you now want to run a test. The test will confirm that Zapier can successfully detect new calendar events on your Outlook account. If all is set up correctly, you should see confirmation of a successful connection. Next, we're going to define an action step. An action is the task Zapier performs once the trigger event occurs. Here, click on Action, then select Google Calendar from the list. This is because in our example, we're going to create a Google Calendar event whenever a new Outlook event is detected. Choose Create Calendar from the list of available actions. This step sets up an event in Google Calendar triggered by your Outlook events. Again, you'll need to sign into your Google account to allow Zapier to manage your calendar. After signing in, you should test this part of the setup as well. Run the test to make sure a new Google Calendar event is created when you add something to Outlook. If both tests succeed, then you're ready to put this automation into action. All that's left is to click Publish to activate your new Zap. Once published, Zapier will monitor your Microsoft Outlook for new events and automatically replicate them in your Google Calendar. And that's it, you've successfully integrated Microsoft Outlook with Zapier. Thank you for watching and happy automating.